Now, last time on Black Chicago be like, man, this man Corbin was in another pickle, bro. This man was getting ran all around the town, running errands for this little ugly ass boy right here on the screen. And he found himself in a situation where they in a back alley. He got Blake on him. Corbin trying to figure out if he should just take dude out because dude was trying to have him rob a bank. Corbin ain't trying to do that. He's trying to figure out if he want to just take dude out back here and take off or if you should go along with it and just rob the bank. Now, since y'all cheated in the last episode and broke immersion and just made corporate come from under the bed for no reason, that was a stupid decision. In real life, he would've got murked, but whatever. I was like, all right, I'ma break the rules one time to him, I'ma break the immersion, kill him. He ain't really done what I anyway. That's what I say, kill him. So I hope y'all chose the same option, man. Corporate, get this man up out of here, bro. Forget all that, we ain't robbing no banks. So let's find out what action y'all chose. Make sure y'all show a lot of love to this video, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get it. I saw it as a slight opportunity, so that's when I decided to ask y'all. All right, help. let's see. Well, the people have spoken. What y'all say? Y'all have elected for me to send them upstairs. Yep, he gotta go. Say less. He got to go. He got to go, corporate. Get him out of here, fuck all that. You know it's gonna be some consequences, but still. Turn around, he. Show chairs doing out the car. Walking towards him. Woo! He. Hold on, hold on, bro. Nah, nah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hey, take my motherfucking coat off. Toss it over here. Oh, me, I try to hear that. Damn, shorty. You want your fucking coat back? Shit, all you had to do was ask for that motherfucker. Nah. He tossed it to me. Yeah, nah, I just ain't want to get no holes in it. Let that nigga have it. Let him have it, boy. Second Why you didn't get his? Did you get his? You didn't get his phone. First one. I run a couple alleys over. <laughs> oh, phone right there. Okay, okay, okay. I came out a buddy jacket so I can put my own back on. Yeah. The coast was still clear. After I put my sh back on. That nigga said that second body easier than the first one. I feel him. His cell phone was in one of them. Yes. I instantly power that off. Uh huh. Needed to destroy that motherfucker sooner than later. On me. I checked the other pocket and it had the remnants of what cash I had. Okay. Left. He went on his little shop. Still got a little bit of money back. Hey, but on me, uh, before you destroy the phone, you might want to go up in it. I mean, I, you got you to get up out of there so you can't even use the facial unlock. Damn. I'm going to say, he said he had it saved in the draft on his Facebook. So if somebody else can log into his Facebook, they can still technically post that shit, bro. So I would try to get into it somehow and then delete that shit from the draft. Then destroy the phone. But I mean, time may be of the essence. So I understand if you can't do that right away. I put my pole up. Uh-huh. Had no idea what I was going to do next. Right. All I knew is I had to get as far away from right here as possible. Oh, me. We gone. So I just stopped dipping through alleys and gangways. Uh-huh. It was late in the evening, so it ain't take long to get dark. Walking right. through the alley out of nowhere. Player, player. What the? Oh. Play boy, smooth, play ground, player. Hey, I seen play him before. Real quick, baby. Holla at me. Holla at me. <laughs> hey, that, that nigga <laughs> funny as hell, bro. For my third body. Here. Come on, bro. Chill, whoa, chill. Whoa, 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 baby. Listen, I don't pull out the FN on me. I come in peace and prosperity. I'm in a little sticky situation. I need you to help a nigga out. You know what I'm saying? A Let sticky situation, huh? Oh, no, nah, that dude is funny though. Tuck and pull up. What's good? He listen here. So I had two of my. I ain't know he was from Chicago. One of my elderly clients. Okay. The nursing home, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? So we went to the car. They sucked it real quick. Ugh. Boom, bam. I'm the elderly. Back to the nursing home. And these bitches then pulled off with my car. They took the bread and motherfucking everything. Now, cause these bitches like, I'm just out here ass huh? out. My ass is out. Ah, oh damn, that's crazy. How that happened to you? I hate to hear. He, man, listen. So, is there anything you could do for a player? I mean, like right now, not late. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a fish plate to carburetor off your car? That nigga said a fish you plate. Help nigga out, couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? Let me get couple dollars. Nice ass teeth out your mouth. Get that man, little honey, little honey. Well, I mean, it's cold as hell outside. Oh, you can give him his coat. Okay. I got a coat for you. Yeah, take that. Toss it to him. He, oh, oh, damn, player. Oh, Hope that I don't come back to bite him, bro. Oh. <laughs> Giving that man that you coat. See, now this is what I'm talking about. You to help the nigga out. This got a hood and everything to it. Yeah. Lessons on God. <laughs> you know Damn, my bones are warming up already. Damn, this is good. What this is this stupid, out? bro? Smells good and everything. Hey, listen. Okay. I appreciate the player. You know what I'm saying for looking out for a brother. Bro, this nigga yeah, busting spin moves. Okay, it? I'm gonna holler at you. Hey, you keep doing what you do. How you do it? <laughs> Get your <laughs> not the cat Williams. <laughs> Only in Chicago. <laughs> I ain't had no phone. Hell no. And I was tired of walking, so I decided to hop on the bus and go look for my phone in the alley. Buddy threw it at. Mm -hmm. I get to the bus stop. I noticed two dudes on the corner mm -hmm. going back and forth, arguing about something. Okay. 
match got so real, they broke out a game of rock, paper, scissors right there. Hey, somebody you got to bust out that rock, paper, scissors. To try to sort things out for real. <laughs> Long as they yep. were trying gotcha. to gotcha scissors, feeling like pocket juice at this point. <laughs> one, uh, I yo ass could go first. You huff as hell anyway. What they doing? Another one. Listen here, muffin man. Are they battle rapping? Weak as hell. You can't with me, muffin man. You already charcoal, but I'm finna smoke your ass. Oh, that's right been now. a battle rap. Charcoal took the challenge. He instantly footwork. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Bro, them niggas be getting it with that damn Chicago footwork, bro. That shit is not easy. Shabby at all. I ain't gonna lie. It look like they just doing random movements, but they not, bro. You gotta really know what you doing. Oh me, feet moving. Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh me with his big ass. I see you. I'm a big nigga that can move too, so I understand, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been no big slow ass nigga, can't barely move. Niggas always been agile. Your barbecue. I just smoked yo you talking about. Look at my way. He hey. Hey, check it out, man. Who won? Man. Big homie. Both of y'all ass went cool whole time shit. I can't call it. Ah, oh, man. Blue charcoal. He, what you mean you don't know what your Come on, bro. What's wrong with dreads looking ass? <laughs> Blame it. Muffin man, right. Pick somebody, with bro. Fly piranha looking ass. Oh, me. Now you getting roasted by both of them. Pick somebody. If y'all know which one of them. Comment one, below. Make sure y'all drop it in the comments. That's a nice way to get engaged with. Mm -hmm. Or charcoal. I say big homie. The bus finally come. I hop on. I pimp to the back and take a seat. Okay. Right after I peep this lady and this dude participating in a little debate. But mm. I'm just saying that we together in the same household. If if you wasn't with me, you have to pay 100%. So why can't you pay half if you live there? You using half the lights. You using half the heat. Half the bed. Makes sense. And all this I'm just saying. <laughs> the lady. All I'm saying is what happened to a man being a man. Like when did roles change? My grandma didn't have to do 50-50. I'm not going to get into it. I got a whole lot I can say about this. This ain't even the video for that, bro. I'm going to go ahead and let this moment pass. We're going to go ahead and hit just hit play. My mama didn't have to do 50-50. Shut your ass up and all and that bullshit. Because I know about Shonda, buddy. But that's beside the point. First of all, wow. my mama don't know what I'm doing when I'm outside the house. <laughs> all I know is when we in the house, mm -hmm. she eating half the food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Getting half the lights. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. She... The problem is you the man, you the lead. Women will take care of the house and the kids. Men, y'all provide. Which one you like better? You want the girl just to kiss the tip or swallow the whole thing? Oh, my God. Uh. Turkey, gobble, gobble, eat that whole thing up. She exactly. Then pay the whole motherfucking rent. Fuck. No, nah, fuck out of here. Blue, he. Hey, little homie. You ill hustle this whole conversation. <laughs> what you think about this whole going half 50 50 bit? <laughs> he finna say, I can't call it again, bro. And then he finna ask the comment, come on, bro. I'm not finna go deep into it, but just to give y'all a little brief overview. Go half, for sure. That's what I agree with. However, if you a dude that don't like think like that and you wanna pay for everything, cool. I ain't knocking nobody for wanna pay for everything, but god damn it, like women, hey, y'all ain't getting no free meal ticket for no reason. Like I gotta just be, I gotta really fuck with you like that. To be able to wanna pay for everything and you just take care of the house and you ain't gotta pay nothing. That if I don't really fuck with you like that, you gonna come up off something. Fuck you thought this was. Man, I'm gonna have to side with the lady. I can live alone. Pay the whole rent. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Man, I don't even know why I asked you. First of all, you by yourself. You got <laughs> your knees out. Got your limbs exposed. Black ass knees. People with bright teeth. Damn, he said with bright teeth. That's funny as hell. Look at the comment section. Should have mad in my own business. What y'all think? If you got two motherfuckers that's in a relationship and they under the same roof, should they go 50-50? Yeah. Don't drop it in the comments and let me know what you think. Eventually, <laughs> I made it back to the alley where I linked up with dude at the same alley where he tossed my phone. Right, it right. It's cold as hell outside, so I was hoping it ain't take me too long to locate it. Right. I'm all behind garbage cans and some more shit. About 10 minutes later, lo and behold, I spotted my phone, cracked up something crazy. On me, I but it's there. We got it. It was still powered on and everything. Damn. Battery ain't even died yet. Okay.
That's an iPhone. IP cookie had called me like. I ain't gonna lie, that's cap. Hundred times. iPhone sit out all day. I don't care if you not use it. That battery gonna die, man. I FaceTime. Oh, I'll fuck with iPhones. Like I, I had battery. Hey, baby. She. Oh my God, baby, I've been calling you. You had me worried sick. Are you okay? I. I had dropped my phone somewhere, babe. We just found it. My shit cracked up on the front and the back. I just saw that you was calling, so I was just hitting you back. She, oh wow, I'm glad you found your phone back. Shit crazy. Nah, I'm okay, my love. You okay? She, I was just worried about you. I'm okay. I, I'm finna call this Uber and be on my way home right now. Okay. She, okay, baby, I'll be here waiting on you. Yeah. And then hung up. I tried calling Big Twan to let him know I'm good. No answer. Oh man. No answer on the FaceTime. So I tried to call him regular. Sometimes Twan be a little busy, but you would think he would be ready to answer that phone because what corporate just went through. He'd be like waiting on him, you know what I'm saying? No answer. Damn. I wanted to at least text him and let him know I was good and it just hit my line. Okay. It was finally time for me to call an Uber so I can get up out of those harsh weather conditions. Corporate, don't get kicked out the Uber this time, bro. I'm posted up waiting for the Uber. Sit your ass in Uber and just be my chill. Let's pick up this wild sound. I turn and look. It was a whole what equestrian the? surfer. Hey, this nigga standing on it. Like horse trotting down the street. Bro, what the hell is going on over here? Him for the back. Cool as hell. <laughs> he stopped the horse. What? Down he. Uber for Bartholomew? Ah, oh, hell no. Perplexed. I look down at the app. I look up at him. Scratching head. Ain't no way. Ah. In the app, it say you uh supposed to be pulling up in a Mustang. <laughs> I ain't know that mean you was going to pull up on a Mustang. On, on a Mustang see, on me. See, what happened is I got two Mustangs and one of them in the shop. Damn, you know, but. to me like that. I, hey, let me go ahead and cancel this. Oh, me. I'm not getting like, on your horse, bro. He. You sure? And you not even galloping. You was trotting down the goddamn road. road. Not even trotting. You was walking. He. One. We can stay here and freeze or we can mosey on the lawn. Nah, go on somewhere. I want trying to deal with that Chicago wind chill no longer. He about to get on I it. toward the horse. That's funny I'm as hell. nervous as hell. I don't know how to approach that. He, <laughs> why you acting scared for? Y'all probably cousin. Y'all got the same Hey, old guy, I knew he was going to go in his teeth again. I tried walking around the back of that motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa. don't do that. What, what's wrong with you? Get from behind that you horse. Never behind the horse. Boy. You your chick list knocked out your mouth. Homie, you get kicked. Uh, Woo! I will have bored this month. He. So the traditional way to mount a horse is always on the left side. Come step this way. Okay, left side, left I side. I follow him around the front of the I ain't even know that. Good advice. So what this is right here, this is a stirrup. Yeah. You put your left foot in there. Okay. And use it to hoist yourself up on top <laughs> of the horse. Not a hoist. That motherfucker was. Elevated off the ground, I had to manually insert my foot. <laughs> uh, huh. All right, we on there. Yeah, right up there, though. But like yeah, I get your ass in the bike. Top of them crates, you hear me? The Uberman climbed on top of the horse with ease. It took that nigga four See, jumps, four little hops, four baby hops. All right. So how long you been riding horse? Well, that's goofy as hell, though. He, three and a half years. Okay. Right. Oh, God. So where you keep this motherfucker at? Like <laughs> in the crib? He in the suburbs. I got five acres. Oh damn. Five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's raw as hell. What, what's this motherfucker name? Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Chuckling heat. Nah, that's my boy Prince right here. Okay, Prince. Ah, uh, I Prince. My big Prince. Real activity. So how fast this motherfucker go? Right. We need to go quicker. Want to say? I could have walked at this speed. Hey. hey. Yep. Let's hey. get it. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Took off on you know what I'm saying? Plane, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. House on the prairie. <laughs> ah, I, I get it. Right. Okay. Motherfuckers. Now I know. Now I know where they got horsepower from. Oh me, one horsepower. Ray out there getting that. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. Y'all at twelve for that guy? <laughs> this nigga oh, ugly, bro. They can't no more. Facts. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. What fuck's gonna ride till I can't no more? <laughs> I got the horses in the back. For that guy, horse tack is attached. 
Pat, bro, I hate this, this nigga, bro. Y'all ass twig it. <laughs> I'm riding on a horse. Fuck, somehow you can whip your porch. That motherfucker ain't on nothing. Boy, I've been in the back. <laughs> this nigga don't shut the hell up. up. Off the porch on my dead home. Y'all twig it. We ride. This nigga like, the Chicago of the whole yeah. verse, bro. That whole time. Okay. Motherfuckers. Definitely fake. Let's stop and get some food. I ain't gonna lie. I went straight home, though. I ordered some food. I, oh, man. I appreciate it. Oh, well, never mind then. Hey, you paying. And then threw that motherfucker in the hyper. Hole. You paying, you know what I'm saying? I love the Chicago's chicken and waffles over there on King Drake. Y'all notice I ain't been pausing this video a little long. I ain't got no time for all that. That mammal. Prince was train train. He dismounted one leg after the other. Yeah. Meanwhile, it. It it took it took me some time, but I got down. Well, if you don't get your dumb ass I down, make sure to walk around the front yes. of Yes. Even though I was still scared that I didn't know what that motherfucker was going <laughs> <laughs> on me and charge you. Sad. I was starving like my, but I had a long day. Where they go this time? Man, walking motherfuckers down. The waitress, welcome to Chicago's Chicken and Waffles. How can I help? Oh, okay, Chicken and Waffles. He look at me. So what you want, partner? I um, Chicken and Waffles. Shit, what you mean? The uh, Saint Carol. What's the Saint Carol? So that's one Saint Carol. What else can I get y'all? They better show it too. I get a smothered chicken, double mac and yams. Ooh. Jeez. Okay, got you. About 15 to 20 minutes. Boy, that sound good. Uh, smothered chicken with mac and cheese and yams, nigga. Real hell, for real. Waving me off. He got the greatest tag team ever. That mac and cheese and them yams. We end up getting our food. Hot oh, that's bagged up. I wanted to see it. Dirty, you hear me? He said he was gonna put them a fucking hyper horse all the way home. Hell yeah, food was still hot. I need that. He was a nice horsey. I was still face scared of it, but I put my foot in the stirrup. Uh huh. Got to my seat. Uh -huh. I grabbed the food, so broke him out. He hop up. Yeah. But before we can get started into a gallop at our peripheral, we peep a different type of. Uh -uh. Holding like a horse. Well, that's a stallion right there, too. Nah, I mean, it might not be. Mama, she might not be tall. Y'all know what I mean, though. Look, no, he called her a stallion, Excuse too. Excuse me, ma'am. And Jay, right down. No, me. I'm sorry. <laughs> he right up to shorty. Smooth as hell. He hide at home, Miss Put the hat on. How's your night tonight? She, hey, I'm okay. How about you? He, not too shabby for a cowboy. I had to step to you. I but feel like in Chicago, the women are like, roast you for this shit. Fancy. Trying to wrangle short. But this, you know what I'm saying? She, what? You funny as hell. What's to you? <laughs> he, nah, I'm just kidding with you. I just wanted to know if you want to take a ride on my Bronco. No, I'm riding right now. She, that's your horse? He turned around, nodded his head. We in the middle of an override, goddammit. it. Nodded my head, too. <laughs> he, yes, man. Unless she going to get on with know something? She, and what's that? He, my saddles. Waiting. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. Hey, that's my shit right there. What's up about pony? Hey, yeah, hey, before y'all time, y'all too young, but y'all too young. Y'all know about that. I don't know about no pony. Let me get your number so I could rope you up later. Okay. Phone out the hat Ain't no BDSM though. Seven seven three three nine three eight seven. Whoa, whoa, yeah. I'll holler at you later. You take care now. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got the little digits and shit. Whole episode of Pimp Chronicles. Came and hopped right back on the horse like he ain't do nothing. For once, it's somebody else getting the woman instead of corporate trying to get him. You ain't never just bag shorty fresh off the horse. Yes. Who, who could turn down a cowboy with this much sauce? <laughs> I, I gotta give me one of these. Hey, shout out to you, boy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you went and got that number. I see you. I had finally made it home. Mad as hell, I had dropped my food. Hyper horse mode. You Crazy. mother. I step in. Come on. Cookie man. was standing right in front of me, and this little pajama set looked like it was painted on, smelling like flowers. Oh, yeah. She, Cookie ready. Hey, baby. Ah. Cookie hey, ready. Baby. She, I missed you. You know what time I, it is. I missed you too. She, how much? Ah. Ain't no ruler long enough. <laughs> ain't no scale big enough. Right? So, you like what you see? Yes. Turns around and show me the yeah. <laughs> Sweet yeah. Bro, I was just bumping that shit earlier today, boy. That's my shit. I love what I see. Fetty Wap version. Hmm, we'll see. <laughs> Follow me. Yes, let's get it. Prance her way back to the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I knew what time it was. Come on, now you already know. Required. Right? It was demon time. She was in the room waiting. Situation seems familiar. I step inside the room. The change you want to see in the world, okay? I look to my left. 
and a woman was standing there. I felt like I had seen her face before. Oh, this old girl. It was the same girl I yeah. had seen that day after Cookie introduced me to her. Oh. Jay down on Shorty that day. I right. got all about that. Cookie. I did too. She looked familiar. Uh-huh. Yeah. That Shorty from that day. Boy, it's time. Ain't even been keeping in touch the whole time establishing a little rapport or whatever okay we actually got real close huh? I, is that so <laughs> my folks really finna get close <laughs> she was checking on me when i was in the hospital and everything okay and whoever that she is good friends like, right I, you ain't never lied cookie turned to eva and nodded her head towards me eva slowly started walking towards me Hold on, bro. Hold on, man. Folks, I thought she was about to tongue me, but she just slowed It's time, me. boy. On. Yeah. The tension she created with that alone was crazy. Oh, me. Don't even and do that. Just let it happen. Know, I could tell Cookie felt it, too. She put my coat to the side. Mm -hmm. And then directed me to come sit on the bed. Do whatever they tell you to do, boy. She, go ahead, babe. Uh-huh. I want to watch y'all go first. What Dirk say, man, what? That's crazy. Cookie, hey, babe. You trying to make this a movie tonight? And pulled out a tripod to hold Record. Ah. Really? She, really. That's crazy. And we could record it in your phone so you could watch it again later. That's crazy. Crazy. I instantly take my phone out of my pocket. Real phone she, messed up, cracked up. She take the phone. Go to pull my camera up. She, babe. Big Twine texting you. I, I just hit that nigga back later. Nah, oh, God, she, man. No, babe. He said he needs you to pull up on him, and it's urgent. Yo, you gotta hit I, Big Twan back now. It's Big Twan. I figure whatever that you got going on is more urgent than this. How? <laughs> How? How? Look at that. What's understood ain't have to be explained. She go to set the phone up, but then she, I don't know, babe. He keep texting. You can't record if he if he gonna keep on. Yeah, you can't even hit. The, you can't record. I'm trying to get active. You can keep on contacting. Like he in dire straits. He might be. I grab my phone. Sometimes I wish she wasn't so caring for real. Mm. Facetime. <laughs> Damn, bro. He not answering my Facetime. I text him. I yo, what's up? I'm good, bro. <laughs> trying to get to it. You good? He. I need you to pull up on me, gang. ASAP. Damn, okay. I, I need a couple hours, bro. Maybe shorter than that, LOL. Definitely gonna be shorter than that. He. Couple hours. Smokey Norfolk, I need you now, bro. Critical. Make sure you come by yourself. It's personal. Oh, wow. The timing couldn't have been worse. It must be critical then. To pay homage. I, I gotta go see what's going on with this man. Wow. You got to do what you got to do, babe. I'm pretty sure he I'm going through something Tesla. critical for I, real, but damn. I'm going to just hop in an Uber. I don't know what he got going on and your vehicle done been caught up in enough shit. She, nah, I get it, babe. Well, I love you. No, you tired babe. of taking Ubers. I love you, too. I'll be right back. I was with the Eva. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got the singing on the head. What was the big I'll one. be right back. I was trying to get back to cooking. <laughs> Hit it with that ASAP. goddamn Chris Tucker, baby. Best girlfriend in the world. Oh, me. I pull up to this weird warehouse location. I walk in. And the hell? What do I see? Big Twine sitting in a chair, bound by the ankles and bound in the chest area with a pole. Oh! And who holding the pole? The same girl that stabbed Cookie and Bro! Baby in the hospital. Why she so crazy? Ah, what the fuck is this? Oh, because Twine that. cut her off. She just mean mugged me. Out of nowhere, pulled to my top. Yo! Both females pop out the cut. Get the frisk of me down. Find pole in my coat pocket. Snatch it off me. What the hell going oh. on? Left me standing there. Shocking all. Big twine. Motherfuckers call me lacking, bro. How? Sure did. Big, freaky, aggressive as hell. However this came about, he knew he messed up real bad. She, you know what's crazy? I ain't even know that y'all knew each other until I was in traffic and seen y'all walking out jerk 48 the other day. Okay. No cap in her rap. We definitely went to jerk 48 the same day I killed Cookie Brother. 
she i'm wondering why you ain't answering my calls you ain't replying back to my texts damn now it all makes sense you definitely left her in the dark wow situation she so i kept texting him and i sent him a message that i knew he couldn't ignore okay my brother flesh is weak so i know she sent something through super suggestive and that nigga was ready she, he pull up i had everything set up for him okay he probably thought he was just finna slide through and slide he in hit you one more time for the fun time and then get out of there thinking it's shake that ass time I knew exactly how to get to him. Mm -hmm. Instead, motherfuckers got right on his. He come in taking his jacket off, thinking it's that. I reached right under the pillow. Could have popped him. But instead, I popped his dumb arm. I'm like, back of the head, boy. And then right after that, mm -hmm. I had my. Just to drag his big overgrown <laughs> right up out of the hey twat a big One nigga bro yeah, that nigga was heavy as hell but we figured that on out. me like y'all would have to work together and stretch everybody get a limb shit ah okay i'm saying though what's the point right chuckling she what's the point because he left you on don't like come on man i want cookie ah oh my cookie. god bro she, yeah cookie look man you only got two options either you gonna call cookie find a way to get her to come up here by herself so i can step off no my god smoking big twine right in front of you what the fuck now, what am i supposed to do she over there will pull the big twine here right now what and the only way to save her is for me to set cookie up so what should i do ain't no way allow her to get down on cookie or sacrifice Big Twine. Ain't no way, bro. Drop it in the comments and let me know what I should do. And on the next episode of Black Chicago Be Like Part 105, Part 14. Yeah. We're going to see what's up. Let me know. Okay. Oh, God. This is obviously a really messed up situation. Now. A lot of y'all that's in relationships gonna call foul on what I'm about to say. But listen, you and Big Twine go way back. I'm talking about four flats on a Cadillac, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go way. That's that's the whole that's big homie Twine from way back in the days, and y'all still homies to this day. Truth be told, as much as it's gonna suck, you ain't no cookie that long cookie been a real one been ride or die so far she didn't came through for you in every situation that's possible to come through for you she a real one but as much as y'all gonna hate that i gotta say it bro in this situation where i gotta choose like a homie that i've been friends with for like 10 fucking years or some shit over a girl that i've known not even a year i'm choosing my homie bro y'all might think it's bogus but man fuck all that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, because that's my brother at this point. You know what I'm saying? That's like my brother at this point. So, you, yeah. Damn. It's messed up either way, bro. It's messed up either way. Neither one is a good decision. But if you absolutely have to pick a choice, you got to save Big Twine, bro. You have to. You have to. You have to. I hope y'all pick the same decision, bro. We're going to see how this play out. So, with that being said, y'all, make sure y'all show out love to the video, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure y'all tune back in for the next part, whatever it is, whenever it is. And until next time, we up out of this thing. This is your boy Daryl. We signing out. Hey.